Sixties child. Do you remember? Green Shield stamps. Those little green stamps were first issued in 1958 but became very popular in the 1960s and early 70s. You got one stamp for every six pence you spent. It took 1,280 stamps to fill a book and these stamps were being offered everywhere. And there were promotions galore. Even your little local shops did them. So you got your stamps and then they had to be stuck in the book, which meant licking them. Now I didn't mind helping mum and dad with this one, and I can still remember the taste today. But there were some who just couldn't stand the taste of the glue on the stamps. There was nothing worse than just finishing the licking the last stamp. Your tongue was dry like you'd been in the Sahara Desert, and then your mum come home and threw a load more at you. And you could get these pin badges to add to your collection. So you'd keep filling the books and filling them up until you got several books and your mum and dad would have a look in the catalogue at what they could afford with these books. Now bear in mind a Kenwood Shep would cost you 33 and a half books so it could take months if not years to get what you really wanted out the book. However, you could use the books and pay the rest in cash, which is what a lot of people did. So when you knew what you want and you got enough books you went to the Green Shield Stamps shop. Green Shield Stamps was actually a huge affair. This was their headquarters in Middlesex and they had distribution centres all over the place. Do you remember this ad? Whatever you want, get it today. Green Shield New Deal. They even dabbled in Formula One. In the late 60s, early 70s, things changed and you could get these. This one big stamp was worth 10 of the little stamps. And with the new book you could save the big 10 stamps and the regular single stamps. Later on they introduced the super fast saver book. And in the 70s they actually changed the stamp a little bit. Which meant you had to have a new book as well. Sadly by 1973 it was the end for Green Shield stamps and the business was rebranded as Argos. Still keeping the catalogues and in most cases just renaming the stores. And even sadder is Argos is slowly disappearing off our high streets. Anyhow the last portion of this video is a visual treat. I've got two catalogues for you to browse. One from 1968 and one from 1972-73. These catalogues I'm sure will have you drooling at the mouth with nostalgia. There are items in there that I'd long forgotten about. So do you remember Green Shield stamps? Did your mum and dad collect them? Did you ever get any gift from this Green Shield stamp shop? Let me know in the comments. Most of all, enjoy the video and I'll see you later.